for the off fight team. The first round, the semi finals, and now the final here tonight in the 58 kilogram bracket. Three three minute rounds with the possibility of two overtime rounds following that. Shiro! Tension, Nascar, ladies and gentlemen. We are locked and loaded. Referee Ogawa in there with them tonight. You're listening to Stuart Fulton and Alex Roberts on commentary. Here we go. Much like the uh, Coleman event, 10 million men are on the line here. 90 odd thousand dollars, as well as World Series champ, title champion. After the weigh-ins yesterday, Tenshin actually said he doesn't need any of the fight money. He's happy to give it all to the disaster victims in Chiba. He is actually from Ch Chiba native himself. Right. One. The crowd here super animated. They touch gloves. Round one is underway. Tenshin Nascar in southpaw. Shiro in orthodox stance. First contact from Shiro. from Shiro. Smiles smile as he does it. Oh. And Tenshin Nascawa replies with one of his own. Let's just have a little bit of fun to kick off the night, Alex. You can feel the pressure in there. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, the atmosphere. The tension, I should say. Lead left hook from Tenshin. Goes high with a kick on the left-hand side. Tension, he brings that, that tension, that pressure, even without throwing, just like him in front of you, it's a lot of pressure, drains a lot of fighters. It is, it's not just the fact that he's undefeated, it's not just the fact that he's beaten the best of the best, it's how he wins. He seems to just choose the moment, choose what he does to finish off his opponent. Impeccable timing. Yeah. And nice that's... body punch right there by Tension. Pressing forward with his lead leg. Shiro popping a kick in. Oh. Downstairs, upstairs, all over the place here. Do not blink. Rapid combinations. Fast, ferocious exchanges. Neither of the two over committing so far. Lead right hook followed by the left cross pressing Shiro back. Oh, Shiro looks very uh, gun shy right here. Yeah, he's thrown in those low kicks, but it's almost like he's just given attention too much time trying to watch him too much to see what he does. He's taking those kicks and he's not firing back. It, uh, Shiro looks very, very tight right now. He's yet to find his rhythm. I don't know if it's just me either, but tension seems to be quite a bit bigger than Shiro. Looks like a you know, weight class above him. 
This is actually fairly heavy for tension. He's said in the past that he'd be, be happy to, to take uh, matches against top guys at 55 kilos or even as low as 53. Now that first round just seemed to fly by. Yeah. Cut the tension in there with a knife. Feel yeah. it right here, here in the you know ringside. The tension looked good, but not throwing too much coming in. But Shido just was very, very tight. Couldn't like get off any, get off with anything. There was a rolling thunder at the beginning of the round. I thought that might be an icebreaker, but as you said, Shido seemed a little bit tense throughout that whole first three minutes. Like we talked about, tension brings that pressure, that mental pressure too. Not just physical, even he was coming forward the whole time, but not really throwing that much going forward. Even that, Shido's backing up. Round two. Round two on the way to touch gloves, back at it. Main event of the evening for the men's Rise World Series 58 kilogram final. Just ferocious whenever he unloads his tension. That's caught. Shido trying to put in some middle kicks there to back up tension. There's a lot of chance from both sets of fans in Makuhari Messe here tonight. Shiro managing to stay out of range of those dangerous punches from Tenshin Naskawa. Back to that right middle kick. Nice to the Bishop. It's nice to see him actually landing something. I'm going to give him some more confidence to let his hands and feet go. Nice body punch there by TJ. I think they did some, did some damage at left downstairs. Certainly back Shiro up. Shiro trying to throw the right cross of his own. Battering into Shiro against the ropes. Tenshin Natsukawa. Shiro gets a yellow card for holding Tenshin. In all fairness, what else was he supposed to do there, Alex? <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's... That close, right? I can see the, the holding and uh, hitting is far one thing, but just the holding, that's a uh, nice body shot again there by Tenshin. One minute left in round two. He can show those straight lefts to the body, and he's going to eventually bring it upstairs. A couple more downstairs and get upstairs. Left hand right there, right? Let's go. Laser straight. Looking for the right push kick, Shino, but immediately kicked by Tenshin. Less than 30 seconds left on the clock here in round two. Tenshin Nascar pressing forward. Shiro trying to find an answer for this pressure. Landed a short right hand on Shiro. It had no effect. It was the end of the second round. Shiro was looking for the spinning back fist. Those closing seconds there didn't land. Back to their corners. I think Shiro's going to uh, land something big this next round. To send this to the extra time, I think. Both really there, but it hasn't been that much action either round. But you'd have to definitely give the edge attention. I think unless Shira lands something big this next round, we might not see like extra rounds. Tenshin's father giving him some very strict words in the corner when he came back. 
telling him he's going to have to step it up a notch, he's going to have to open up with more combinations and throw in the high kick. Segunda. 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 Final round underway. If neither of these two can finish it off decisively, we will go to an extra round. Big front kick from Tenshi Naskawa. Goes downstairs after that. Shiro follows up and gets kicked in the butt for his troubles. There's the high kick. Oh, nice left hand after it. Just sort of back it up again. She seems to be a little bit more relaxed now, but he's still dealing with the incredible power of that left hand of Tenshin Naskawa. Yes, right jab there too by Naskawa. Popped his head right up. Tenshi Naskawa has Shiro against the ropes again. Big left again. Here's the high kick. Boom! Rolling Thunder did not land, but it was very close. Halfway through this round, she has got to get off. He's got to land something. He just looks way too gun shy here. There we go. The combination followed with a, a job from Shiro, but that's going kind of like nice head body and the low kick. Very nice combination. Sharp. Another rolling thunder shot. <laughs> this time from Shiro. Last one minute in the third and final round. Naskawa kicking. Punchy keeping everything on the left hand side. All power shots. Looks like he's going for something up Superman Punch here. Looks like he's going for something big there. Shiro is coming alive more now. Let's end it with 30 seconds to go. Is it too little, too late, Alex? That's the question. We have 50 seconds left on the clock. Has actually landed anything of uh, import, though. Yeah, the Tetanus loading up to something big. You sort of dip down there. Some, uh, possibly some special technique right here. Closing seconds of the boat. And there's the bell. Sensational landing up. High kick right at the... Right at the bell. Now they hug up, but it could be premature. If the judges somehow decide that this requires another round. I'd be surprised myself. I mean, there was not that much damage done, but I think Tenshin was the clear winner. And then Shiro, besides the third round, he just did, didn't get off. Very, very gun shy. Third round, he started to open up a little bit more, but too little, too late. We shall see, though. Watch the replay here. Oh, just incredible work from Tenshi Naskawa. He didn't put Sh Shiro away, but... Even the punches that didn't land clean, they landed on the guard and still sent Shiro reeling back. Mm. 30-29. Naskawa. Thirty twenty-eight. Tenshin 
20, 28. Also in favor of Kenshin Nasukawa for your winner. And the main event of the evening on the final of the Rise World Series 2019 58 kilogram tournament. Tenshin Nascala takes it. He remains undefeated, now 38 and 0, with 29 knockout victories. Seemingly unstoppable. He is phenomenal, but he has a whole line of guys. Top-notch guys. Oh, yeah. Young guys. Suzuki Masahiko, one of them. He's Hungry waiting. guys. He's waiting. Waiting. He wants this. There's a lot of skill waiting in the ranks to face Tenshi Nascala and test themselves against his might. One thing that's very noticeable today is uh, pressure. Just the mental pressure put Shiro under. Shiro was not able to get off. I think that mental pressure having that tension right in front of you, in your face, moving forward, even without punching, moving forward, that would just seem to be too much for Shiro to deal with. You're right, Alex. That was a huge part of it. It plays a bigger part than most people think. It's easy to say before the fight, I'm going to do this, do this, but once you get in there, Somebody like Tenshin is in front of you. Difficult to get off. That pressure is just uh, that mental pressure. And I'm sure Shiro will be back, though. He will, for sure. Presentation ceremony again, Commissioner Ogawa. ライズワールドシリーズ2019。58キロトーナメントにおいて上記の成績を収めましたので、その栄誉を称え、本日承します。令和元年9月16日、ライズコミッション。very big congratulations to Tenshi Nasukawa coming out victorious in this 58 kilogram eight man tournament beginning in March this year in Tokyo in the semi-finals in Osaka in July and now today Makuhari Mese live on Fight TV. You're witnessing one of the best kickboxing fighters of our generation, if not the best. One thing that must be added to is the level of Japanese kickboxing. Very, very high level. You saw today even the four finalists and even the non-finalist fighters, such as Haraguchi. The Japanese kickboxing level is right back at the top. The World Series like this is a perfect opportunity to showcase the best of Japan against the best of the world. That's right, Alex. You and I have both been living in Japan right through the, the K1 boom. And this right here feels like it's back. back. Exactly, it could be starting again. Get back on TV in the golden time, as they say. One thing that must be added to Team Teppen won both both classes today. Tenshin and the Shiratori. They won both classes today. So that gym, they're obviously doing something right there. That is super impressive for sure. Taking two belts home to Teppen Gym tonight.
株式会社リコジャパン様より折りたたみ自転車エスプレス200カナダならびに勝利者賞50万円が贈られますプレゼンターは株式会社リコジャパン代表取締役近田英吉様です合わせまして那須川選手にはフィットネスショップ様よりゴールドジム CFM コインプロテインが贈られますおめでとうございます She is getting a bunch of other awards and presents. I heard whey protein in there, but with the $90,000, he'll be able to buy a mountain, mountain of whey protein. Don't worry about that. That's right. Nice to see that. He's a very nice young man. And, uh, you know, as you mentioned, top kickboxer in this country and well known, not just in the kickboxing world, on TV, variety shows. Regular people know him too. It's nice to see. It is to give exposure again, you know, after those years, after the boom, the kickboxing boom, to see it come back, to see people like Tenshi Naskawa having their faces on the screen, their names in households, and inspiring a new generation of kickboxers. Young guys, young girls coming through and training their very best in order to, to get through to the higher ranks and get more exposure. Because now, with the much better fight money on the line, it's much more attractive as a career choice. Having said that, a lot of these guys don't care about money. They just do it because they love it. Let's hear a few words from the man himself, Tenshi Naskawa. Good evening, everyone. It's been a while. Thank you, everybody, taking time out to come and watch my fight tonight. This is a fight. That boils down to really small points, and one small mistake can mean the end. But I'm really glad and really grateful for Shiro bringing the fight here tonight to me. Uh, both Shiro and I have the same physical trainer. I was happy to give Shiro the coach for this, and it was quite difficult for me. But today's fight is no good for me. I'm going to keep doing my best and keep trying to bring the best wins to you. Just one thing at the end. Takeru. I would like to say something to Takeru of K1. I'm putting my life into raising the level of this whole martial arts world. I still have plenty of time left and a big future ahead. I would like to hear everybody's voice here tonight. Give it up for everybody who fought in the Rise World Series here tonight. Will you do that? He said, I'll be waiting for your voices.
This has been great. Thank you, everybody here tonight at Makahari Mese. <laughs> And there is the trademark Triceratops pose, which, if you remember, he did right before he knocked out 